we have here is a magnetic pickup that I built from scratch. What we have here on the end is your, your typical quarter inch plug with an instrument, cable, solder to a pair of wires that connect to a coil inside that is a coil of magnetic wire. Uh, it's very thin stuff. You can uh, somewhat see it inside there. I'll show a bit of a close up of it here in a second. But uh, I'm going to explain to you on uh, the materials I used to build it and uh, how I made the coils because uh, that's probably the most complicated part of the process. Uh, you can do it by hand, you could do things like a hand drill, but I wanted a way that was a bit more stable and easier to use. Um, and it wasn't all that expensive to put together. Um, my pickup winder probably cost me about $50 to build. And uh, I'll show you that here as well. Uh, here are some of the components that I used to build the pickup. What you're seeing here is a sewing machine bobbin that, and that's where the, uh, the coils are wrapped around. It's got a machine screw through it, held in with a nut. And over here, we have a neodymium magnet, which is a strong rare earth magnet, and that creates the magnetic field uh, to make the whole thing work. Now, wrapping the wire, the magnetic wire, which is really thin stuff, around this sewing bobbin, doing it by hand would be quite tedious and slow. Um, using a drill could be you know, too fast and uh, it would be harder to control and um, it would also, uh, you know, you have more of a chance of the thin wire breaking as you're wrapping the coil. And if that wire breaks while you're wrapping the coil, you have to start over. Uh, and um, that's the most tedious part of the process and, you know, you don't want to waste your magnetic wire. So uh, I will show you now the machine that I built to wrap the coils around the sewing bobbin. So here you see is the pickup winder that I built. At one end you have the spool of very thin magnetic wire and that will feed across over to this motor where you'll have that bobbin with the screw connected with this coupler to the motor and it spins around at about with this particular setup uh, about 60 rpms which is it's slow but um it's kind of nice having that slow um because then while you're feeding it with your your fingers uh, and guiding it back and forth so you get a decent wind on the bobbin uh, you have less of chance of things breaking and uh, that's a good thing and uh yeah it does you know take a little bit longer to get the coil uh, wrapped i'm not exactly sure on how many windings that i've been getting because i don't have a way to set up the count that just yet and maybe i'll add something like that in the future but uh i basically wound my pickups so that i got uh, at least for the first time i got around 420 ohms uh, resistance um, over the pickup um, which is not a lot, but it was it was enough to to get one that actually worked. And uh, later on, I, I created another one that was more around 1600, and uh, it worked as well. But it, it's definitely a hotter pickup. So you know, depending on what you're, you're what you want to build is you know how many windings you want to put on it, and, and what the uh, ohm rating uh, you want to cross the magnetic coil. Here is the power supply that runs the whole thing. Uh, it is. Uh, was pulled out of an old external hard drive so it has a nice regulated 12 volts that runs into the Arduino uh, which is an Arduino Uno and it has on the top of it a um, from Adafruit the motor um, shield uh, it's about 20 bucks and then this is a 200 step 12 volt step motor and um, these materials I got from different places. The uh, wire I got from eBay. Again, I pulled the, the power supply out of an old hard drive. The uh, Uno I got from Micro Center as well as the motor shield. Um, there's various places online that you can get that. And the motor I picked up off of Amazon. And uh, I can't remember exactly the company I picked it up of, but it was 
about 15 bucks and, and the whole thing put together uh, was about $50 uh, the wood I just had you know some scraps uh, that were sitting in my basement and uh, the rest of the hardware is just you know from your local hardware store but uh, that is really about it as far as the pickup winder goes this was the most difficult part of the project um, and it took me you know some trial and error of getting it put together I originally had a smaller motor on here which moved much slower than, than this uh, if you can believe that um, but this uh, particular one uh, this motor works fine albeit a little bit slow but again like I said that worked out a little bit better in my favor so let's uh, move on to see what the uh, the finished product looked like and I'll talk a little bit about that okay again here's here's the finished finished pickup um, I explained what you know what's inside of it the actual shell of the pickup is just a um, pill case that came from a traveling kit that uh, you could buy at uh, places like Target and all that that you know has like a empty shampoo bottle and things like that for for traveling and uh, this worked out quite well this uh, pill case um, for the size of you know putting together a pickup like this it's got a um, screw top here and you can see there the uh, the magnet at the end. Uh, I've got some tape wrapped around there uh, that holding the wires in, so it's kind of hard to see on the side. But uh, basically what I did is once I had the coil wrapped, I drilled two holes in the side of this case, and then I f carefully fished the end leads of the magnetic coil out the sides. And you're going to want to have a good bit of, of end leads because you want something to work with and you don't want to have it too short so you know you don't have any less of a chance of, uh, of snapping it. And uh, once I fished those leads out, I set on each side a strip of copper foil. And then I soldered each end to those strips of copper foil. And as well, I, I soldered some wire which you can see here, that is also soldered to each strip of the copper foil. And then I stick that to the side to hold it in place, and then I wrapped some um, electrical tape around it to protect it. And then those wires are soldered then to the instrument cable, which goes out to your standard quarter-inch jack. But that is about it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email at shaggy at zoiks, Z -O -I -K -S, dot org. And I will also leave a link in uh, the uh, at the bottom here to uh, send you to the blog post that I created when I first built these. It has a bit more information that you may need. So thanks for watching. Awesome.